Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Rise. Last time we left off, we fought Lagiel with Kisara and also did some of the arena stuff. I'm still not feeling super hot today, um, so unfortunately I don't think we'll have another hour-long one yet. But I am catching up and I am taking my apple gels and pineapple gels as I should be, so hopefully I'll start feeling better soon. But uh, yeah, if you notice my voice is a little bit deeper and uh, I just sound more sickly today. That would be because I am more sickly. So, group battle. So we did novice last time. We didn't get the elixir. Uh, we need to be level 40 to do the intermediate one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to bother with any more of this quite yet. I think we'll go do some other stuff. It would be kind of boring to have two days of... Uh, just this stuff anyway. So where do I want to go though is the problem. Um, oh yeah, I can go back over here and see if I can uh, turn that in. Is there no better way to get to the library? Really? Alright, let's just go over here. So I think we may have that book that we need for this quest. I think it was like Art of the Cosmos or something, wasn't it? I want to say it was, as my cat scratches my couch. Hey, you idiot. He's not an idiot. He's a very good boy, except for when he scratches the couch. Then he's a bad boy. Luckily, it's a very cheap couch. It's the one I got when I moved in, and I got it from, like, basically the a furniture goodwill. For very cheap, so. Alright. Good grief. Here she goes. Lost another one of her books. Hey. Hey, hey Renwell. Who? Let's keep go. Let's go. You all worked up, bird. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Huh? Hmm? What is it, Law? Need something? Nah, just wanted to make sure you were still paying attention since you had your nose buried in that dusty old book. That dusty old book is a valuable artifact, one that I think was written right after the Great Conquest. For real? What's it say? Anything neat? Well... Uh, I don't know that I would call it neat, but I definitely found something intriguing. Mentioned something about a phantom flower of Navira. Huh? Navira? Is in the Navira snow plains near Sisladen? The one with the lake? Yeah. Yep, the one and only. The book claims that a long time ago there used to be a beautiful flower along the banks that can only be seen at night. Well, if that's true, how come I haven't heard of the flower until now? We both know how dark it used to be until Alphen and Shion came along. Maybe nobody went out of their way to look for it. Plus, that period of darkness in Sislodia wasn't natural nighttime either. I guess. That's a good point. You want to go investigate and see if it's true then? Huh? Really? You'd help me look for it? Well, but we all have that time to kind of that kind of time to spare right now, do we? You want to find it, don't you? Got it. Well, let's ask the group if we can search for it next time we're in the area. Sound good? Thanks. Yeah. But thanks, Law. <laughs> Phantom Flower of Navira. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about seeing one. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh, I need a drink of water already. Ugh. Alright, yep, yeah, set this as my priority quest. Cool. So that was just a cutscene we got just for walking here in the library. We didn't even talk to you. <laughs> don't be shy about bringing me lots and lots of books now. Okay, no, I don't even have that. Okay, well, at least coming over here actually got me something. I sh honestly should have checked the quest to see if I even had the book, but like I said, this got me something, so I'm fine with that. Alright, so... Navira Snow Plains. It says it's over there. We're probably gonna have a fight or something, right? Probably gonna walk up, try to grab hey, it, and it's like, ah, oh, monster! You mind if we take a bit of a detour? It's fine by me, but what for? Rinwell says there's a phantom flower that grows around here. We want to look for it. It won't take long, promise. A flower, huh? Alright, let's take a look. Yeah, and you know, the world isn't an impending doom or anything like that, it's fine. Got ourselves a salmon. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. Phantom flower? Phantom flower, where are you?
Look out! Here's what I expected. What the hell is that? Hey! You want a piece of me? Stay calm, Law. It's coming for us. Please don't be level 60. Please don't be level 60. 54. That's honestly Jesus, close enough. Difficult for us. Uh, Dude, that's honestly close enough, really. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to beat this, I'll be honest. This seems like wildly difficult for where we are right now. Well, your thing isn't charged, Kisara, so I don't think you're going to be stopping its charge, actually. Oh my god. I think I'm going to be dying to this. I mean, I'll try, but we've barely dented this thing so far. I feel like it's just going to murder us super hard. Yeah, I thought you were about to do your charge. Uh-uh. I'll honestly be amazed if we do manage to even kill this thing. How much damage does this do? Oh my god, that's nothing. That was nothing! I don't really know if this is going to be worth it. At all. Alright, cool. It auto-saved me right here, which is very, very nice. Um... I find a lot of these quests I'm running into. Why do I keep pulling that up? Um, I'm finding a lot of these quests I keep running into are like way out of my level range. So I'm like, I, th I thought I would be following up on a lot of these now, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. So, I mean, some of them I could do, but that one was a no-go. Autolina Palace was a no-go. All right, let's go to Mahog Sar. See what Niez is all about. It feels like I need to level up a lot more, but does the game just expect me to grind or That was quite the little adventure we went on. Hey, what's up, Bayfon, right? Hmm, mm, roaring, all huh? Right. You must be quite busy having to run this whole operation. Oh, you're the ex-lord from Menencia. It's quite unfortunate what Almedia did here. Deeply sorry that we couldn't do more to stop her, her treachery in time. You don't need to apologize. And it sure has gotten a lot lonelier around here ever since that whole mess, that's for sure. I guess. For sure. With that I'm gone and all. <gasps> yeah, we used to always get up to trouble when we were younger. Whenever something happened, he'd go charging dead ahead. I'm sure if he was still around, he'd still be running all over the place, always on the move. Hey. You mentioned something about some roaring? Yeah, I got a report of some noises coming from Esteluva Is Forest. So? There was an enormous zoogle there previously, but I believe we dispatched it already. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. This must be something else. When I what it says here, it doesn't sound like just one zoogle making a ruckus either. If more threats have emerged in that forest, we need to do something. But I'm so busy rebuilding Niez, I don't even know what I'll get to it. See what we can do. In that case, let us concern ourselves with that while you focus on your work. Really? You sure about that? Quite, but in exchange you have to promise that once we're finished, you'll regale us with more tales about you and Dead I am in your youth. <laughs> uh-huh. That's all. Got a deal. I'll make sure we get us some drinks and snacks while I'm at it then. I see. Oh ho, I like the sound of that. I'm keen to see how the local liquor here tastes. Echoes. I'm kinda of suspect of all of these now. I wish it gave like a Maybe it does? Beat the giant zoogles and Does it give like a Recommended level? Doesn't really look like it. It would be nice if it did that. That way I would know, at least, before I go over there. But let's just grab all the side quests and then see if we can do them. Kind of, my, kind of making my way through here, feeling out Finally. all these side quests. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. All right, what's up? <sighs> You never would have guessed there was somewhere to hide around here, but I'm not complaining. I'm saved. What's got you all worked up? Did something happen? Have you looked outside lately? There are swarms of zoogles on the loose out there. Seriously? That many? I had no idea. Gee, sounds terrible. 
Even worse, these oogles fly and they zip every which I way. Guess. Damn, this sounds dangerous. Like a real nightmare. Got that right. They like they like to spread out all over the place when they see you too. <laughs> Yikes! Just when I thought they couldn't be any more of a nuisance. What? Yeah, it's just about the worst thing that's ever happened to Dana. <sighs> Seriously, scary out there. About the best thing I can do right now is hide here and hope they go away. See what we can all do. Right. Can't just ignore what's happening here. <laughs> What? Why not? Doesn't seem like they're actually hurting anything. Why not just leave them alone? You hear yourself? There's someone standing right in front of you who's terrified. <sighs> Would it hurt to ground your decision-making and reason for once? You did it! Are you saying you two will go out and get rid of them for me? Because that'd be help me a ton. You'll find swarms hanging around Akvodal Hills. Thanks for doing this. Sounds like we'll be dealing with a whole mess of zoogles. I need you to shoot them down for me, okay, Shion? What is it? I'll just go accepting people's favors and expect me to do them, Alfin. Skybound Swarm. Yeah, sure. We'll try this one out, I guess. Defeat the Swarm of Zoogles in Akfotal Hills. And the Wedge, find a ship. So that's how we do that. Let's go to Akfotal Hills and see if maybe we can do this quest. I'm thinking maybe the ones in all the previous Finally. areas we visited are just too if high level for me right now. The wind to get here faster. Maybe I should just go follow up on the wedge. Feels like some of these quests just unlocked just a tad bit soon. But that's what makes me worried that like if I go to the wedge right now, it'll just be done. It'll be like, okay, this is the end of the game. But I'm sure they'd give me a warning beforehand, right? Oh god. You look scary. Think we can take that thing. No way. Forget about it. What level are you? 42. Okay, that's not bad. This is doable. I've got a really bad this one's doable. Alright, we, we finally found one. Oh my, 1640. Okay. I'm trying to kill the boomies here. Boom. Aww. Renwell and Xion being nice to each other. You love to see it. Okay, you're all that's left now. Now I can really let loose. Bang, bang, bang. Oh god, Renwell, rest in peace. Ow. Hit it with the burning blade. Good stuff. Okay. Get him in well. Watch out for the rocks. It's like the most dangerous thing it can do. There we go. And Kablooey. Big damage. Man, they love doing that one now. That Alfin and Xion are like basically in love. We just hear that a lot. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. I think you're about to do the roar. You're in the air. How does that not break you? Oh god. The charge. I like that one bit. Okay, your core is back. What are you doing? I thought something was about to happen. Thank you, Doalim. Thank you, Xion. Luckily, the boomy is just like, eh. You need to be careful. With the blazing sword, you can only Okay, it's doing it. Back up. Ooh, scary. Ow. Wow, seriously? It stays around that long? I didn't know it stayed that long. Okay, whatever. Oh god, here's the charge. Okay, we're good. I think, uh, Doalim just got his rod extension. Well, somebody dodged it. Thought it was Doalim. Back up! Go, oh, Aleem. Uh, we need to drop a lemon gel on you. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Alright, good. 
Oh. Say no more. Here, let me help. Try Hit him with this. Try this. Can you take it? Close of ring. Alright. Heels, please. Thank you, Shion. Pretty sure that's what you're doing. Have we still not gotten Nurse for you? I thought I saw Nurse at some point on your tree. Oh god! Okay, we're good. Uh, no. Oh, it Ignite Terror. What? Okay, it didn't work because you were in Over Limit or whatever. Void Dragoon? No, please. Uh-uh. Put that right now. And let's hit you with another explosive ring. Good stuff. Alright, I think we got this, though. There we go. Ooh. Wait, how did I knock you down? Who did I use that knocked you down like that? I don't know. I think it was... Oh, that that's a charge. The thing it starts to do... Yeah, with the when it summons all the little boomies. I didn't even think of that. Huh. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, you don't actually steal the spell. That's unfortunate. But you're still dead. Pretty sure. This should get you. There we go. Out of here, Mother Boomy. I'm just happy there was a quest I could do so I can make some progress this episode. Thanks for another astral flower. Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. Yeah, you two doing your little... doing your little thing. Alright, let's go turn this in, get some more SP. I honestly don't know... Destination. I honestly don't know how it expects me to get to level 60. It might not expect me to get to level 60, because, I mean, I'm level 36 right now and taking out enemies that are... like, level 42 and stuff. So, obviously we don't need to actually be level 60, but I'll probably still need to be, like, level 50 or 55 at least. And, like, XP isn't coming in at the fastest rate right now. I want to know how Xion, Rinwell, and Law have more XP than Alfin. How does that happen? Hmm? Hey, are all the flying zoogles gone now? Sure. That's right. We didn't leave a single one standing. Right. It's true. I guess when you make her mad, she can really take it out on zoogle hordes. Hey! Don't give him any ideas, Alfin. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for the rest of my days. Okay, calm down. Hmm. And think about it, those Zoogles are actually pretty cute. I feel a little bad in hindsight. Everybody just loves boomies, man. They all just think they're the most adorable little things ever. Hey, new tree, though. Explosive gunslinger. Explosion. An advanced fire art that drops a fireball into the battlefield for a huge explosion. Increase special ammo. Alright, nothing too nuts. Still need to forge the Atonement Edge. Alright. Cool beans. Uh, so the next thing... Why don't we go do some fishing, and there's also something else I want to follow up on. Uh, so let's go back to the Cave of Solitude. Because, oh no, what, what I wanted to do was, uh, I was hoping there was going to be a was... campsite over here. I need to go to a campsite. Because someone mentioned, they're like, uh, you want to make sure you get all the campsite conversations. And I've realized I've been going to inns to heal up, and I don't, I shouldn't be doing Quite that. The little adventure we went on. I should be going to campsites Judging so I can get the conversations. The stench, I'd say... We got to do that. Let's go ahead and hit up a rest here. There are still so many creatures we don't know about. Have you been writing stuff down about what we fight? Yep. It's actually pretty fun to observe them from afar. Alright. Cook. 
Yeah. So I made the hamburger last time. We can't make a fish steak because I need a boss fish. I made ice cream. I made an omelet. We never made cheese fondue. Never made cheese fondue. This looks so good. I almost want to have it all to myself. You okay, Shion? You're not eating very much. What's wrong? Do you not like the cheese fondue that you made? Yeah, I'm used to seeing you more excited about food. You're not feeling sick, are you? No, I'm fine. It's nothing like that. It's just... What? I guess I just don't understand what the appeal is. We could just as easily put everything on a plate and pour the cheese on top of it instead. I suppose it lies in being able to decide exactly how much cheese you want. There's also something to be said for enjoying how it all turns out. It's fun. That's fine and all, but I wish the plate to mouth time was shorter. I think I understand. You don't like having to put in so much effort into eating something, do you? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Actually, now that I think about it, you're a way less fussy eater than you look, Xion. In my book, there's no one right way to eat a meal. Tuck in, take your time, be dainty or devouring. As long as you enjoy the food, that's what counts. There's no need to stand on ceremony while we're out camping in the wilderness. E yeah, you're right. In that case, don't mind if I do. I've never seen someone dump that much cheese on a meal before. <laughs> Shion's like, nah, fondue's dumb. You should, uh, you should have, like, ACP or something. You just pour the cheese on top of ACP. ACP's great. I've had fondue once. Okay, so there's a lot of these to do. Let's, let's do one with Shion. We haven't done one with Shion in a while. Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well... I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but... That must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? You're now closer to I'm Xion. I'm looking forward to breakfast. Didn't we find a doll? Also, the comparison of uh, Alpha to Guts, they, they don't stop. The comparisons, the similarities. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Because, uh, yeah, that happened. Guts also grew up in a mercenary band, so... Alright, so that was that. Let's go back to the Cave of Solitude now, and let's see if maybe we can catch another fish. Because someone mentioned to me last time that I actually caught the fish without that even equipping the, little adventure we went on. the better rod that I had. Like, I didn't even equip it. Because, yeah, you do actually have to change the rod. Hey, what here. do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. I haven't had to do this yet, so I kind of just always ignore that and just switch, 
you know, to whatever uh, lure that I need. Oh, okay. And the the other thing they mentioned was here. It says uh, fish present. Fishing yet? Boring. Shut up, law. You need um, to fish. It says what button you need to press to get them to appear right there on the right. So you, we need to press square and X for the cave sea bass. Um, first, we got to see if we actually have a lure. It says these make it easier, so I guess we don't need them to catch it. But yeah, I don't see cave sea bass on here anywhere. Lacerda salmon. There we go. So we can do that one, and it's triangle, triangle. So let's go. Uh huh. <sighs> triangle, triangle. There we go. I've got something. So yeah, there was a bit to fishing that I just didn't understand. And now that it's been explained, I uh, get it a bit more. Luckily, we haven't really had to do much fishing up to this point. You have a lot of HP, but you're not particularly hard yet, which I am thankful for. But it is also probably because I'm using the better rod now. <laughs> that makes things uh, a lot easier. R1. R2. Yep. You're gonna get caught, friend. I'm sorry. I wish I could say this hurts me more than it hurts you, but I don't have a hook in my mouth, so. Also, not about to be Looks devoured. Like I hooked a pretty rare fish. So what's it to be? Grilled or broiled? Alright. I should see if I can catch the, the sea bass. So, uh, square and X. Yeah. So, square, X, square, X. There we go. Are you my sea bass? You might not be. You seem too easy to be the sea bass. You certainly look like a bass, though. I'll be shocked if the rod I'm using right now is this good. Because this seems really, really easy. You have a lot of HP. So maybe you are the sea bass. I don't know. Like, I've maxed out the bar. I don't think I've ever done that before. Really makes you realize how few fish I had actually caught before. That this is just a novice rod. A good meal out of this, Bella. Okay, cool. Put up a fight. Good catch. Alright, that was the cave sea bass. Awesome. So now we've gotten everything here. We finished off the Cave of Solitude. Awesome. Awesome. I think we'll do a little bit more fishing to end the episode off, because I don't think there's really anything else I could do that would take the uh, same amount of time. Just trying to look. Are there any fishing spots in Cislodia? Not really seeing any. Oh, there's one. Alright, so let's go over there and see what the, that's all about. Apparently doing all the fishing that seems to the little adventure we went on. fill in a lot of, uh... What's her face's trees? Um, Kisara. So that's something we want to do, probably. I wonder how I've actually done with owls, because now that I know that some of them you just can't get until you finish the game... I'm like, is there even a point in me going back to, like, Calaglia in and searching? Two more gold chunks. Alright, let's see if we can go ahead and finish this off. Uh, Alright, we gotta select our stuff. So, Wouldn't polar it be bass. Wouldn't simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. There we go, polar bass. So, we got our rock slapper ready. And <laughs> boom. <sighs> Oh no, I forgot to check which ones. Uh, can I like to collect a lure? Spot. Yeah, that was my bad. I, I forgot to check actually. So square and uh, triangle is what we need. So square, triangle. Lure. All right. Certainly looks like a little bass. Very tiny little fellow though. God, this rod is so much better than Miguel's rod. I'm sorry, Kisara. Miguel's rod sucked. It was awful. 
compared to this bad boy, the novice rod. It's Miguel's rod was basically the old rod from Pokemon, let's be honest. It wasn't anything too crazy. There we go. Such hype music for fishing. Well, it's not bad per se. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. Damn right I did. All right, what else we got? Navira Piranha. Do I have what I need for that? Navira Piranha. Doesn't look like it. I can still try to catch it though. So hey, let's do, what do you think about that spot? Good an idea. XX. I'll go for that one. Ha! So boom. It's a piranha. Really? How hard can it possibly be, yeah. right? Okay, so now it's just gonna actually be a challenge instead of just being like piss easy because I'm not yeah. using the right lure for it. Yeah. Or maybe that just increases the rate of you actually running into the piranha like you want. This might not be the piranha. Is this gonna be another bass? That's not a fish I see often. No. So what's it to be? Grilled or broiled? It is just another bass. Well, I want the piranha. Alright, give me a second. See if I can catch one here. Is this what I think it is? Oh, this is new. I think, because Kisara made a big deal about it, so... I think this is what I want. New fish? Maybe it's the other one I'm trying to catch that's new here. I think Kisara only does that, is this what I think it is, if it's actually a new fish, right? Or if it's like the hardest fish to catch in each area or something? I don't know. This seems pretty easy though. So I doubt it's the second one. Ladder. What are you? Are you the piranha? It'd be cool. I didn't think I'd catch something this big. Are we oh going no, it's to just, be able to finish it just, all that? It just means it's a new record. Damn it. I want the, the, the other thing. Oh, it's because I had the polar bass one on. It was attracting the polar bass so much. Okay, yeah, that would that would cause an issue, <clears throat> wouldn't it? So if we t if we put the wrong one on, I should get the piranha like I want to. Reel it in. Or not? It was just a catfish. But All right, idea. the the I'll Navira piranha one. just isn't coming to me. So may maybe I need the actual lure that's specific to it. So. I think we're going to go ahead and ditch this area for now, so... And I think we'll probably go ahead and end the episode off here, because I do have to render it and get it up today, but... Hopefully after today, I can start doing hour-long ones again, assuming I'm not Judging still... Or at least I don't get worse, as far as sickness goes. Ranch. I know, Law, we get it. Veteran Rancher, trophy earned, what was that? 50 harvest on the ranch, the meat produced sustains the party and its cause. All right, well, we have a ton of rat pig now. Let's do sheep. Let's just do like one of everything, basically. And cow. I think we have enough pork. You're all grown now. There we go. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tales of Arise, and I'll see you next time.